I'm Dan Galpin for The Developer Show. This is your weekly update on the coolest developer news from Google. We released Beta 1 of Android 12L, which includes the finalized 12L APIs, updated build tools, and system images for testing. Android 12L focuses on refining the UI for large screen devices, including updated system UI, a new taskbar, and a compatibility mode that letterboxes apps that aren't optimized for large screens. The 12L preview is now available on the Lenovo Tab P12 Pro tablet, and you can enroll your supported Pixel device to test out the improvements we've made in 12L for smaller screens. Head on over to the blog for more on Android 12L and the beta program. Also, Android Developer Relations just posted that they're hiring. We released Flutter 2.8 which offers faster mobile performance, easier connectivity to backend services such as Firebase and Google Cloud, and Dart 2.15. We're starting to explore higher level abstractions to make it easier for you to get running faster, such as a sign-in widget powered by Firebase that handles the complexities of supporting Google, Apple, Twitter, or Facebook as an auth provider. We also celebrated the 1.0 release of Flame, a modular 2D game engine built on top of Flutter created by the Bluefire team. Head on over to the Announcing Flutter 2.8 post and the What's New in Flutter 2.8 post for more details about the many changes in 2.8. We released version 2.15 of the Dart SDK that powers Flutter. It includes fast concurrency with worker isolates, a new constructor tear-off language feature, improved enum support in the Dart core library, new features for package publishers, and more. The post has lots more detail on what's in Dart 2.15. To learn more about all of this week's stories, make sure to check the description box below for all the links. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, and stay safe. I'm Dan Galpin for The Developer Show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. Also, Developer Relations just posted that they're hiring. Not for